Hey yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the vlog, and yes, the vlogs are finally back. Premiere Pro is actually working, which means that we can actually do stuff for once. I mean, we kind of did something, technically, today I uploaded it, was the haunted video, basically the one up at the cemetery, over there, which we're not going to film about that today. But, uh, anyway, who's behind the camera? Me. That's really, that's really self-explanatory, Jacob. Uh, yeah, Jacob's behind the camera yet again, and we have this guy tried sabotaging my channel. It's a good snowman. Uh, that's what I said about Honestly, I think Joe would make a much better channel. Oh? Oh, really? Really, Jacob? Really? Alright, so we got we got something interesting that we're kind of doing today. And when I say kind of doing, I mean we are actually doing it. I don't know how we can kind of do something. We're either doing it or we're not doing it. We're either doing it or not doing it! So, uh, we're doing a Mad Libs challenge, which... For those of you who don't know what that is, which by the way, I did not know what this was five minutes ago. Jacob was the one who filled me in because this is his idea. So Jacob, if you would, you know, kindly enlighten the people what the Mad Libs challenge is. Mad Libs is like you pretty much create your own story. You're given like a list of different types of words, like nouns, adjectives, all that kind of stuff. And then you pretty much like create your own story. So I decided to challenge these two guys to create their own random story and they can use as as they can make the story as much vulgar and inappropriate as YouTube can allow it. But there's a catch. They're going to think of the words in 10 seconds or less. So that's what we're doing today. Um, a little bit of a, I guess, not not as high energy of a vlog as we normally do, but obviously we gotta get back to, you know, normal stuff. And by the way, it's supposedly supposed to snow later on today, so that's why we're doing this outside right now, because might as well take advantage of the somewhat nice weather while we have it. So with that being said, guys, let's go inside the house and let's do this thing! Alright, we're about to do the Mad Lip Challenge now, but this time I had a sudden change of rules. This time, while Noah tells me the words that he wants to put into this supposedly inappropriate story. Supposedly? No, I, it's going to be inappropriate. Okay. He has to do it in five minutes or less. Okay. So, with that said, let me adjust the camera here a bit. Noah, are you ready? I was born ready. Okay, give me a guy's name. Requeese. Great. What? R E R E Q W U U I U U I I can't like it. Okay, okay, give me a school subject. Uh science. Okay, give give me a number. Uh twenty-one. Okay, give me a verb plus E D, so a past tense. Um faded. Okay. <laughs> give me a regular verb. Uh give me an example, like like a regular verb. So, What's in English? Shade. <laughs> okay, give me a verb going. plus ing. Um, screwing. That's close to what I was thinking. <laughs> oh. Oh! oh. Okay, Damn it. okay, so I have to use the same guy's name, Requeese. <laughs> okay, oh. give me an adjective. Uh. An adjective? Uh, large. Okay, give me a letter of the alphabet. C. Okay, give me a plural occupation. Um, like a specific job. A plural one? Yes. Uh, engineers? Um. No? Well, let's just go with it. Okay. Okay, give me an animal. Uh, cat. Give me a day of the week. Friday. Okay, give me a certain noise like chirp, crack, thump, thump. bark. Okay, give. Okay, same guy's name, Requeese. <laughs> okay, give me a plural noun. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Geese. <laughs> I have a bad feeling. Okay, <laughs> give, okay, give me an adjective. Um. Three minutes. Small. Okay, three minutes. Give me a verb plus E, so another past tense verb. 
Um, worked. Okay, give me a single body part. I'm not gonna say that. Does that count? Give me another body part. Uh, I. Okay, give me an adjective. Uh... Three. Scooby-Doo! No, I don't know. Uh... You're out of time. Uh, just put a word, put a... All right, the story is all set. I managed to fail the rest of the words for Noah here. So, now, since he did most of the work here, he is going to tell the story. Well, you see, this story is called The Awkward Date, and obviously it's by me, no spell. So here's how this goes. Tonight, I'm going on a date with Requies from my science class. He has asked me out over 21 times, and I, I always faded him away. This time, I thought I'd shade for it. I mean, why not? Who is it screwing? <laughs> but, uh... Requees is one of those large kind of guys who gets straight C's in every subject. He's kind of an kind of an engineer's cat. <laughs> it was Friday night when I heard a bark at the door. It was Requees holding a bouquet of geese. <laughs> he, he bowed. He bowed. Okay, hang on. Bowed and then handed one to me and said, "You look small, my dear. Shall we?" I almost worked from laughter, but held it in the best I could. I took his finger and he died me. He died me to his car. We drove to a restaurant that overlooked the tree. He ordered cheeseburgers, pig fingers, with wasabi gravy, and a huge lion burger with milk. Remember, it's a lion burger. It has to have milk with it in order to be good, guys. I just wanted a hamburger with a glass of water. I thought he was... I thought. I guess he thought I was stupid, but his outfit had me lose my appetite. Okay. Green plaid shirts with a button-down pants tucked in and oversized shoes on. After dinner, he drove me home. We talked about why trucks are so loud, which was annoying. Then he walked me to my employee. He kissed me on the mouth out of all places. Then scratched his eye and said I had a bluish time. Let's burn again sometime. I nodded my abdomen, yes, then quickly went inside. I felt happy seeing him again in school, but we usually just say guten tag when we create when we create into each other in the, the school bedroom. What the? Yo, are you ready for this? No. I mean, yes. I mean, no. Maybe. Hey. Uh, 60%. Let's do this thing. Give me an adjective. What's an adjective? Ah, I'm just, just kidding. Run. Well, run? That's, that's, adjective's a describing word. Oh, brown. Okay, okay give me a number. 22. Give me an adjective. Blood. Alright, give me a size. Large. Large okay. mild day. Super sized. <laughs> okay then, give me a color. Red. Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay, give me a plural. Give me a plural body part. <laughs> um, eyes. Hey, don't be a mature. Okay, give me an emotion. Angry. <laughs> okay. All right. Give me an adjective. Blood stained. <laughs> okay. Give me a number. Six. Two hours later. Give me a verb plus ER at the end. Okay, um, stalker. <laughs> That's so bad. I'm sorry. That's not good at all. Okay. I'm going with it. All right. Give me an emotion. Furious. Okay. Now give me an adjective that ends with EST. Stupidest. That's me. All right. You, you, know, you only had a minute and a half left. Good job. Hello guys, the title, <laughs> Advice from Dad. <laughs> oh my god. Just, just my dad's advice to me when I was a, a brown boy around 22 years old. He was a brown so, boy. I want you to know what I really think of you. You are blood. Oh god, that's bad to begin with. <laughs> when you were first born and I stared into your super sized red eyes, I knew right then that you <laughs> would be... You would make me angry. It's a big blood-stained world out there, and there will come a time when I won't be here anymore. Thank God. You must shake life's issues six steps at a time. Make sure you run. Make sure you run your homework. Be lanky to others. Take care. Take care. Oh my God. 
Take care of your, your giraffe. <laughs> Buy a nice, strong falling bus. But, but first... <laughs> before killing a brand new one, before killing a brand new one, obey your uncle and handle peer pressure the, crazy, the craziest way possible. Don't... Don't... Don't crushing, what? <laughs> don't crushing. Say no to murders. F Find a dark girl to call your own. Be um, um, an Today, Junior! Ominous, whatever. Ominous, okay, right. To her and son, never give up your elephants. I love elephants, just like my exes. <laughs> Stay true to yourself and go what you hate. Go for what you hate. No. I want you to know. To, I want. I know you want. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I know you want to become a stalker someday. Make me furious. I love you, son. Dad. Oh wow, that God. is just a beautiful family story for everyone. Oh my Share that God. with your little brothers and little sisters, and we'll have a world of maniacs. All right, guys. It's time for the final round. But this time, it's going to be both Noah and Joseph. You yep. Right. They're going to have to think. Right. In fact, I'm going to tell them to think of a word. They're each going to think of one. It's going to go back and forth between them and yell it. Let's just get this over with. Teamwork. All right, let's go. I'm not giving All right. Five. All right, give me a random last name. Uh, Stover. Okay, give me a number. <laughs> Twelve. Okay, give me an adjective. Uh, I always, I mess up with these adjectives every single time. Um, a describing word. Um, fat. <laughs> okay, give That's me a own. season. Fall. Hopefully she falls down the steps. <laughs> okay, give me a color. Uh, blue. Okay, give me a plural clothing. Shoes. Give me an animal. Element. She a bear. Burr. Okay, give me... Alright, give me another plural clothing. Socks. Okay, give me another color. Uh, brown. Okay, <laughs> give, me an, give me an... Give me an... Uh, an article of clothing. Shirt. All right. Shirt. Give me a number. Twenty-one. I don't know how. I, Twenty-one is just like the one I always go to. Okay. Give me an adjective. Blood. <laughs> what? Twelve seconds later. We have All right. Thirty-two seconds. All right. Thirty seconds left. Country. Italy. Really? <laughs> no, sorry, France. Then go France. Man or woman? Woman. Uh, <laughs> words that rhyme. Word that rhymes with Cooper. <laughs> Super duper. <laughs> Super duper duper duper. <laughs> okay, no, give me a number. Uh, 69. <laughs> okay, give me a motion ending in Lee. Like gladly, for example. Uh, gladly. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> oh, we're just at <laughs> time. Such a that. So, let us do a time skip. Oh boy. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna close this. It's, okay, do you wanna tell them the title? Alright, go for it. No, you do it. Okay, You wanna uh, read first. The guy, fine. The guys I have dated. Drive the Chevy. There was Jimmy Stober. We we went out in grade twelve, and he practically begged me to date him. I thought he was kind of fat, but his clothes never matched. <laughs> to our fall dance, he wore blue fleece shoes and bare bare print socks with an with an oversized silk brown shirt. Ugh, memories. I dumped him twenty one days later and told him he was too blood for me. <clears throat> there was an angry man. Oh, sorry. Then there was an angry man named Peanut Wickerbelt. Oh, right? <laughs> the name alone makes you <laughs> makes you go nuts. Okay. The name alone what? The name alone makes you <laughs> makes you want to want to nuts. Basically, what happens when we're bored? <laughs> he was so blowing and tall. <laughs> he wore those. What was that ancient? He wore those ancient. I'm gonna assume ancient. 1960s glasses with big burgundy sphere frames, and his teeth were always crimson. Oh boy. <laughs> Keep reading. He tried to kiss me one evening, but oh god, but I purposely moved my toe and he ended up kissing my ankle. LOL. We broke up seconds later. Okay. Alright. Hippie was a hot dude. He was captain of the soccer team and had a really ran smile. I was so kicking when he asked me out. Our first date was at the London. He won me a cheetahs and bought me a milk that was personally signed by Danielle Brigoli. <laughs> Unfortunately, our relationship didn't last longer than the 1970s. He moved to France and fell in love with another woman. Oh, there was Cooper's <laughs> super duper. I was 69 at the time, and he was 64. She said 18. I thought I would. I thought I would marry him. I fell gladly in love with his blue. You allness. Allness. My heart would skip 9,918 beats when he'd touch my post 
Posterior. Posterior, okay. I don't it's, know. A bit wor- it's a bit worrisome. Then you accused me of kissing my study hall teacher who wasn't even at the party. I hated him for that. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <clears throat> Last, there was Eden Thomas, who I used to call uh, uh, Ali, Ali A. Really? Really, Jacob? Yeah. He pinned me to the candlestick and dug his posteriors into my tear duct and told me to follow, or should I say he made me. I guess you could say he was sunken, but later that year I stole his rosebud and burned all his figurines. He always wanted to see me again and I wasn't okay with that. Right now I'm dating a fine old Nazi. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the video. Do whatever you gotta do to help the channel grow because it's not just my channel, it's our channel. and. Uh, I don't know if uh, Joy Diff over here has any last words before we close it out, but... Strong words! Um, Jacob, anything else you'd like to say? Well, all I can say is, today was pretty freaking amazing. That's for sure. I don't have to do a lot of censoring in the edit, but that's fine. Have fun. See you guys in the next video. Peace!